Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the 29th of February this year, I posted a video letting you know that if you are still running Windows 10 and your device meets the system requirements to be able to upgrade to Windows 11, if you haven't done so already, Microsoft said that it was, and I'm quoting, expanding invitations, I'll just call that nag ads, for Windows 10 to move to Windows 11. Now, as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, that was because they were once again pushing out a Windows 11 upgrade screen, which is this, and was this full screen splash, so-called nag ad, to more Windows 10 devices that meet the hardware requirements. Now, as I mentioned um, previously, this is a bit of a kind of tricky setup because you've only got two main options here, get it, which means you would then upgrade to Windows 11. If you clicked on that option, which is the highlighted option, which obviously Microsoft wants you to do, you can schedule the upgrade and then you're hidden you're to the bottom left, not too much highlighted about this toggle, that you can keep Windows 10. So a bit of a cheeky setup, as I would like to say on the channel in regards to this so-called nag ad. So that's basically a quick recap. Now this is all because, as we have been talking about on the channel, that Microsoft has announced that they will be ending support for Windows 10 officially on the 14th of October next year, 2025. So that's give or take in just over a year's time. And due to the obvious, obvious negative feedback that Microsoft has received for uh, the upgrade screen or the nag ad, it seems now that a day or so after they made this announcement that they would be expanding invitations, Microsoft now, due to that negative um, feedback, basically has made changes to their plans to roll out that nag ad. And this is an update they um, made on their official tech community website a couple of days after they mentioned that they would be expanding invitations. And if we just head over to that um, tech community website, here we can see that this was published originally on the 28th, and that was in February. And then on the 27th of March, we've got this editor's note, which is an update to the article. They say, to honor your feedback, this change will no longer occur with the April 2024 monthly security update because that's when Microsoft was so-called going to be expanding the invitation using that nag ad. And then they say, we will share a new timeline in the coming months. So the good news is that um, this nag ad now has been pulled, so you shouldn't be seeing this so-called um, notification, as Microsoft likes to call it, because of that announcement made on the 27th of March this year. But obviously this is for now, so this isn't a permanent um, deprecation of the so-called nag ads. And this means that um, the closer we get to October next year, 2025, where Microsoft say they will be ending support for Windows 10, we obviously can expect um, more of these ads to start making a comeback, so to speak, in Windows 10. So for now, um, they've kind of paused this, which brings a little bit of relief because obviously seeing these full screen blown notifications every time you start your PC or on a regular basis when you start up your PC can get a bit frustrating and annoying, especially if you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11. So for now, there's a bit of relief, but I would say that the closer we get to October, obviously Microsoft to some extent or the other will start pushing out those nag ads once again, but I'll keep you posted as I get the info as always. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.